a lot has been written debated and discussed over how much the economy and business operations have been hit by the pandemic today i have with me aditya kanti ceo and managing director ddb mutra group speaking on how the agency is standing tall in this testing time and how creativity is acting as a powerful force in its business coming alive we're so glad to have you aditya welcome thank you for having me so much my absolute pleasure so let me begin with asking how have the past 8 uh, 9 months been for you both personally and professionally <laughs> um listen we had a really really uh, good start to the year coming pretty good 2019 uh, we were feeling good um, we closed q1 strongly um we had a, a, a good run at the fes 3 years in a row now the top 3 um and i think all of us at the agency were feeling pretty good about 2020 and uh, we had no clue uh, much like the rest of the world what we were in for um and i i have to say that it has been um uh, an extraordinary year in every possible way uh, i think the simplest way for us to make sense of it um personally and professionally is that one part of it was uh absolute chaos right and uh doing whatever it it took to deal with those immediate circumstances that none of us had ever imagined um we would be confronted with and i think equally it uh, in 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 a perhaps in a slightly more philosophical way um and in ways that i think will fundamentally change us personally and professionally it was an opportunity for a little bit of a reset right uh, a little you know or take take a serious look at some of the things that we say are important uh but perhaps don't um invest in uh, in our personal and professional lives in in um uh, in a, in practice so i think that was a big for, for me the big theme this year has been that um uh, you know dealing with the the immediacy and the very real uh, scale of the crisis which it was undoubtedly um still is with the the extent of the damage and the the scale of the problem at a humanitarian level um at, at a social level with our communities but also with the economy and with the business and we've learned a lot about the resilience uh you know, that we have of our spirit and for for me at the agency i think that's the single most important thing that um i feel blessed and and privileged about that you know we have an uh, an incredible team of really good people who came together in uh, amazing ways to fight through uh what were really difficult circumstances um but equally i think it it gave us um an opportunity for a little bit of a reset um put a real emphasis on driving change um uh, that we have often been guilty of talking about but not actually doing so uh, it's a little of a mixed bag i think um but i'm sure it's 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 like that for most people including you as you reflect back on this year that's right and you very rightly said that it, this pandemic not just uh, was heavy on the economic side but on the livelihood and health uh, you know side too so people were grappling with health issues and livelihood issues so it was uh, a pandemic of a different kind right yeah absolutely it, it really was in that sense uh, much more than of course just an economic crisis or a problem um for business uh, it, it so yeah lots to learn lots from to. the last 8 or 9 months lots to learn that comes me uh, that uh, takes me to my next question as it as in head of an agency I, what were some of the initial steps that you took both on the employee side and uh, you know the client side so employees working from home brainstorming from home and what were some of the immediate marketing challenges from the client side did you stop any of the campaigns did you uh, redesign any of your campaigns how did you go about that yeah um we did all of those things um we had to we had to reconsider the way we were working um and right through from uh, omnicom because mm-hmm. this is a global problem right and some markets had a little bit of a head start i think one of the benefits of being in a, in a as part of a global network is that we could learn from our friends 
I think that's the big theme this year, isn't it? We're all together in this, in some form or the other. We're together in this across countries. We're together in this, regardless of the type of uh, circumstances we find ourselves in. Um, so I, I think we learned a little bit from the, our, our, the Omnicom the global network made it a priority to ensure that everything we, was, we were doing was first and foremost designed to ensure that our people were safe. So um, keeping that principle mind of safety first, um, all the stuff around how to work and, and how we are able to best support our clients through what was also an incredibly difficult time for them, I think was the first part of our, our grappling with the pandemic. Um, and we surprised ourselves, I think, with the uh, uh, speed with which we were able to cope um, with these changes. Um, the ways in which we came together across disciplines, across geographies, to be able to do what was best for our clients and the kind of work that we were able to uh, produce to your question of, did we have to change things that we had planned with our clients? Absolutely. I don't think there's a business um, in, the, in the world that didn't have to rip up their 2020 plans uh, as they hit March and April and rethink what they had to do. Even in businesses that, in a sense, have have uh, have grown, uh, you know, in this in this time, uh, there was they had to rethink their plan. So I'll give you an example of uh, the Disney Plus Hotstar, one of our clients, which uh, decided that they would advance the launch of the brand um, because of the situation around the IPL and the belief that uh, people would require um, access to high quality entertainment in, in, in this new form and in, in, in new ways. And uh, we had to then, in a, in a three week uh, window from start, from brief through to actual production, um, put out a whole campaign in the month of April to, to, to drive what I, I, I think. Yes, I did go through all the news. Yes, I remember that. Yeah, it was one of the, I think one of the largest brand launches uh, the country seen this year. And all of that st stuff happened remote. Um, so between um, our wonderful client team um, and the agency team, um, now what feels very normal to do everything through video conferencing, um, uh, the brainstorming through to production. We had, you know, our uh, the, the talent that was being uh, shot, their family members playing DOP on, on film shoots um, and things like that. So really a lot, um, of changes even in the work that we were doing for our clients but also opportunities to tell stories and to drive um, uh, uh, conversations around brand purpose that that uh, were very powerful so our work I, I don't know if you've seen it uh, and please do if you haven't I'll send it through to you on stay free on um, the subject of a girl having her first uh, period in the lockdown in their homes and the complexity around dealing with that uh, subject in a culture where we aren't comfortable having that conversation um, and and that that kind of work to be able to to have that conversation uh, was also one of the unique features i think of this time right so of course there were changes in the way we work but also in what we could possibly address as brands the kinds of things we could say i think were opened up in this time as well I'm going to definitely go back to the stay free campaign. I think I missed it. Yeah, it's an it's an exceptional piece of work, uh, in line with um, the brand's you know very brave work we've been doing over the last few years um, around around dreams of progress, uh, project free period, which won uh, a can two years in a row, including uh, 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 the effectiveness category, um, with sustainable development and won a Grand Prix at effectiveness, it spikes. And I think in that same spirit of, of having conversations on subjects that need to be had in, uh, in our culture and our time, uh, I think this was a, a piece in keeping with that time. Uh, and just an example, I think, of the kind of avenues that this opened. It was, of course, difficult and challenging for us in, um, in every possible way, but also um, opened up opportunities to do work that we may not otherwise have imagined doing. Uh, in the and, and ways in which we haven't done in the past. I must also congratulate you for the latest uh, McDonald's and Misho campaigns that you guys have released. I think that Eat Eat Cool is that how you pronounce it? 
That is right. That, that was brilliant. I loved the idea. Thank you so much. It's so good to hear, and I'd love to talk about the Misho campaign as well. Very proud of that work. Uh, again, um, very simple, I think, uh, yet very effective. I have to say that it is. It is, and they've done amazingly. Uh, by the way, um, it's a it's a great story, and uh, you should meet Vidit and his team at uh, at Misho. They're doing some extraordinary work, um, and more power to them. I hope I hope they keep growing and. Uh, we they know we're right here behind them to help them tell their story that's right uh coming to my next question do you feel that uh it is fair to say that digital has taken precedence for your clients or tv is as favorable as a medium even today i'd like to answer this question in two parts uh there is absolutely no doubt that the last 8 months has has uh, accelerated the pace at which um all aspects of how uh, we interact with digital technologies and therefore all aspects of how brands are built and marketing is done yeah. it's been impacted um there's no question about that right you can see that in the amount of content that's getting consumed in uh, uh digitally i've talked about disney plus hotstar but you know we work with spotify as well and we can see how that growth is um uh, is being driven uh in this time of course on the back of an exceptional product and um good communication uh but also the the natural um uh, kind of push towards consuming content in this form and fashion you're also seeing an increase therefore in digital media spend uh but i think also in more fundamental ways um e-commerce for instance right where clients who had no choice because they weren't able to retail uh physically or because of supply side constraints you 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 had to you had to think about marketing in a different in, in a diff, completely different and new way um so i think that's definitely happened uh, and and it has uh, accelerated having said that you look at some of the numbers on tv you look at ipl for example uh it's still very much relevant and um a, a great example of that is uh, a brand we just discussed um we we uh, uh, took misho to tv for the first time um two months ago and it is a great example of a of a digital product um of a social uh, commerce platform which is willing to embrace television as a way to get uh, to to tell its story and to get word out at scale um that perhaps television still does best and uh, it's a, it's a great example i think particularly because of the kind of product uh that me show is and it's uh, you know how how deeply um uh, embedded it is in culture uh, and and how critical technology is to its success and yet uh, television has a, a huge role to play in its growth and i'm delighted about the success that you have i think the real real test you know in in our in our uh, line of work is when you put something out and you can see the numbers um stack up and and, and see the growth happen um because you've told uh, a beautiful it's a story great sense of achievement no it is a great sense of achievement and you know it's so fashionable to to knock some of these first principles of brand building and storytelling but um that's misplaced i think uh, uh brands and stories and um doing them in a way that that invest uh meaning and and build association for clients uh, brands makes a huge difference to to businesses and they do they do help drive growth so uh, i hope i've answered your question in two parts and i think both parts of it are true i, I do think digital uh, technologies and digital media have grown been accelerated and and that growth is here to stay but equally uh, i think television or at least let's just let's call it um uh, high quality long form video um which is seen at scale which is what television really is uh is very much uh as a powerful tool for growth and will continue to be i think super so uh, aditya ddb has a massive uh, client portfolio across sectors what was your experience with some of the sectors that were most hit how did the agency assist them and you know where do these sectors stand now Yes it's um it's been incredible because we've you know it's it's one of the joys i think of being able to work across so many different categories um and consumer groups and see how people have 
uh, adapted to the the constraints that have been imposed by the pandemic um and equally i think that scale is is um a pretty a wide one right so we had some businesses that were hit very badly as you can imagine businesses that have a heavy dependence on people going out physically to stores and and uh, and and buying experiencing and buying things right uh, so from uh, uh, supermarkets and um, uh, quick service restaurants um, through to uh, to fashion uh, retail for example was hit quite badly as were airlines and and, and travel uh, as you can imagine uh but on the other side you had uh, businesses which um benefited in a sense from the behaviors that uh were were naturally a part of our response to the pandemic so we've talked about some of these um the e-commerce successes is remarkable you know Misho Flipkart who we do some work with as well um and then in between uh, these two kind of extremes as it were there were a whole host of of uh, businesses which took a, a quarter or two you know the first the, the the q2 and part of q3 were hard i think for everybody because you were figuring out how to make sense of this time but i do think there were some businesses that that, that did respond pretty quickly to this time so a uh, home appliances uh, company um that we work with prestige for example again a, an exceptional company we've had a long relationship with who was who was really brave about uh, uh, responding to this time by embracing things they hadn't uh, quite done with the same intensity um as they are doing now like exploring e-commerce as a serious channel for distribution okay. so i think we we saw that too we saw um uh, uh really difficult times i think with some clients where our role was to um, see them through that pain in a, in a way that we best could there were clients who were accelerating growth and were you know excited about some of the things that they were seeing and uh, our job was to um, uh, kind of intensify our efforts to help them drive their growth and then there were a few clients who uh, we worked with very closely to make sense of this um of these changes and ensure that we were well prepared to be able to partner them uh in in the growth that is i think more fundamental than just what has happened in the last quarter or the two quarters that will follow but in the way in which we do business going forward so yeah a whole range of of experiences when there so many really efforts i i hope this uh, goes out to be a smooth sail for the company and the clients equally you know Uh, I hope so too. Uh absolutely. Uh, I think we we could do with a little bit of um uh luck and a little bit of positivity um given the 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 uh, difficult time that everyone's had this year. Right? I think even the uh, uh businesses that have I feel the worst is behind us and it's now uh, we're on the road to recovery now. So I I, I think you're right uh, uh, I think you're right Samantha though though the, the the if there's one thing this time has taught us it is it is that we ap- we absolutely never know right about how things will pan out uh, that's the one learning from this time and I think having that but but I think you're right I, I do think that at least in the context of this particular crisis the worst is behind us we're seeing this across categories the last 60 days in particular in and around the festive period and IPL and you can see that right forget the forget the market and forget the business but you can see that in culture i think people are are being more responsible um the 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 hope around the vaccine um the uh, the readiness of our health infrastructure to be able to deal with this problem uh and our own i think mindset in um in being responsible while we try and bring the economy back to life we can see that play out in all kinds of ways and i think you're right we are feeling more optimistic about the uh, uh the next few months certainly when uh, in comparison to the to the last 6 or 8 months no doubt right 
but aditya on the flip side of this do you uh, see the brands warming up to the idea of you know having an in-house creative team and you know just because they want to depend less on the agencies or maybe they want to cut cut their costs do you think they will have an in-house team it's a good question um, saumya i i think listen a lot of these these challenges for uh for our for 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 agencies big and small or you know people who deal with whether it's with martech or with with uh, with media or with creative uh, or with digital this is a this is a reality that i think is here to stay um the the ecosystem is a complex one the way in which market, marketers have to respond to the challenges of our times is uh, no one's written that script i think we all have to be prepared to learn to do things in new ways i think we have to have the humility um to accept that we don't have all the answers and the willingness to learn them uh and to do what i must embrace it as an opportunity for for us to make a bigger difference to our clients right as long as we believe in our capability which i which i think i which i do certainly i believe in in uh, the fundamentals of what we are able to do all aspects of our capability set across um uh, brand consulting advertising uh, digital marketing media i think there's real value in what we do um but we have to be open to delivering that value to clients in different ways uh, whether it is partnering with with agencies um that belong to competing holding companies i think this the hubris that uh one agency group or one uh holding company will have all of the answers under one roof i think it's a little misplaced right and i think that same logic extends to client teams as well uh i think the more interesting uh way to think about this is to say how much are we willing to bring we might have a lot of the capability in house but are we open to 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 exploring ways of doing this with other uh partners as well whether they belong to the same holding structure or not and i think in that same spirit we've had some uh, remarkable success working with in house teams i'm very proud of the fact that over the last 3 and a half 4 years our work on uh, on on disney plus hotstar so the ipl campaign over the last 2 years you will have seen the superheroes uh work that did uh, incredibly well for um for for hotstar last year uh, and this year uh help star to be uh the client of the year at the fes and i think that credit is as much to the 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 disney plus hotstar internal team who they find his creative team who would otherwise be seen as um you know adverse adversaries in this process are not we have to just find ways where we are open to working together and i'm proud of the fact that our teams Uh, were were able to embrace that reality and produce such great work in, uh, hand in hand with a client's in-house team so i do believe that uh, it 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 will happen there are clients that are keen on building that capability in house but equally there are a lot of clients who don't want to do that and want to re- rely on external partners but i think for companies like ours the real win would be an openness to keep keep learning and building this capability but acknowledging that we will need to do things um in 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 ways that best suit our clients interests and that includes stepping out of our comfort zone and partnering uh with clients when we uh when when we don't have that capability in house you put it really well very ni- nicely answered very nice this brings me to my last question for today you know they have been dramatic changes in the client expectations and business realities for obvious reasons what new strategies in business and communication are on the table for ddb well if you step back a little bit i think one of the things that we absolutely have to do uh is is was referenced in our, in my answer to your last question which is how are we able to come together in new and different ways and for me i think what i can control is the outcomes within our our uh, agency environment uh we have really good capabilities across into brand ddb mudra 22 feet tribal omd mudra max mm-hmm. and track and you know uh one of the 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 lessons from this um from the the last 8 months has been that when we do find ways to come together effectively we make a a huge difference to our clients so i think that 
uh, uh, push to to explore new working models that are centered around our clients' interests, uh, both inside the the our existing agencies and outside of it, is one uh, big strategic shift. I think the and that that plays out in in deeper client partnerships um, that are designed to help client growth. I think the second big area is around um, uh, is is around inclusion and, and diversity, and that has to do with our own uh, systems. You know, we we one of the things I'm most proud of this year is our commitment to gender diversity and a and a program called the Phyllis Project, which is inspired by what we're doing in DDB globally. We've identified uh, a, a crop of extraordinary women leaders at the agency and um, invested in a year-long program to help them. Uh, to prepare them to rise through the ranks, and um, as we were discussing offline, I think the uh, the fact that the barriers to working from home have broken, um, and the uh, opportunities therefore for men and women both to um, re uh, reframe what they want from their life and work, and to overcome some of the constraints because of gender stereotypes, you know, the things that men are expected to do at home, the role they're expected to play as husbands and fathers, or what women are expected to do in their extended family. This is a this has shaken all of those things up. And I think one of the things we have to do differently uh, as an agency, which is strategic, is to find ways where we can break those barriers down and ensure that the the talent at the agency, regardless of gender, um, uh, age uh, and geography get the the best shot they can at building great careers in uh, a, a great creative company, and I think and doing that in 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 a structured and strategic way um, is uh, I think another really really important priority. So I, th- I I think that's the way we're going to be able to win the future, right? If we are able to get these two things right, the the focus on on learning, the openness to to explore new ways of working together, and a genuine commitment to change in aspects of our uh, work. That, like I said at the top of our conversation, we've often talked about. But there's nothing like a crisis to drive real change. Um, and uh, and I hope we don't forget these lessons that we've learned in the last uh, eight months and get complacent about it. All the best for that. <laughs> Thank you. So this was all for today. Thank you so much for your time, Aditya. I'm sure this uh, session is going to benefit the audiences as well. Thank you so much. I hope so, Saumya, and uh, good luck to you. Have a good uh, Have a good evening. Lovely chatting with you.